Ever heard of a war where the opposing side was a flock of flightless birds? Well buckle up because we're diving into the tale of Australia's Great Emu War, where feathers flew and humans were left scratching their heads. So the year was 1932, and the Great Depression was in full swing. The wheat farmers of Western Australia had it tough, but little did they know, their problems were about to multiply, courtesy of a large feathered invasion. Thousands of emus migrated into the area, trampling crops and causing mayhem. Farmers were at their wits' end, and help was needed. And who better to ask for help than the Australian military? After all, how hard could it be to handle a bunch of birds? Spoiler alert, harder than they thought. The Australian government, armed with optimism and Lewis guns, decided to take on the emus. The plan seemed foolproof, but the emus had other ideas. Chasing down these flightless birds was like trying to catch smoke with your bare hands. The emus were fast, smart, and had a knack for evading their human pursuers. They scattered in all directions, making it hard for the soldiers to aim. Despite firing thousands of rounds, the soldiers barely made a dent in the emu population. The emus, on the other hand, continued to roam free, causing havoc wherever they went. The Australian soldiers found themselves in a peculiar situation. They were losing a war against birds. The press had a field day with this, and the Great Emu War became a source of worldwide amusement. In the end, the Australian government had to admit defeat. The emus had won the war. The birds continued to thrive and the farmers had to find other ways to protect their crops. The Great Emu War remains etched in history as one of the most unusual conflicts ever. It's a testament to the resilience of nature and the unexpected challenges that can arise when humans and wildlife collide. So there you have it. The feathered fiasco that was the Great Emu War. A peculiar but true chapter in Australian history. It's not every day that you hear about a military squaring off against a flock of birds and losing. But that's exactly what happened in the land down under in the year 1932. So the next time you see an emu, remember, these birds have a victorious battle under their belt. And as always, stay curious and keep exploring the fascinating stories that history has to offer. Until next time, cheers and goodbye.